So the plane was about half an hour late to be on <laughs> It should have taken off about 40 minutes ago, yet still. Waiting for it to come. Um, well, there's only one person doing the keys, so absolutely mega, which is shit. Don't be far, could be like halfway. I reckon they're going right, but you know, not an ideal way to stop the swings. But we move. So, getting through passport control is actually rapid. <coughs> and now I'm just sat here patiently waiting for the Dublin Express to take me to the tail. That's right. And in the capital city that size just keeps on getting bigger. Dublin, Dublin. Um, unfortunately, the Jameson factory probably not going to be open by the time we get there. But the Jameson distillery is open for another hour, and I prefer Jameson to um, Guinness anyway. So that is a, that's a big win in my book. Hopefully, it'll be, be a good time before I go to the hotel, and then ultimately the game. But yeah, I'm not going to get to see too much of Dublin probably until after the match. So I'll see it by night. I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to try Guinness on soon. This evening anyway, just not from that lovely view. I don't know if you've seen the Guinness silly uh, viewing platform, but it is something else. And it is something I would have quite like to do, but unfortunately it wasn't to be because the plane turned up an hour late, but oh well. So the Jameson tour, I didn't really get to get many um, pictures from in there because it wasn't dark, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I uh, got to try lots of different varieties of Jameson. I thought the Black Barrel one was the best. Oh my god, what a burp. Just tasted pure Jameson, which I guess is not a bad thing. Um, it was a little on the steep side, I thought, 25 euros. You know, you could definitely do an awful lot better than that but it was a really fun and quite uh, snappy tour and the, the tour guide was, was great as well so yeah I'm very happy with that I'm gonna go check in and then I've got to head to the to the main event of today possibly via some scran but to be fair I kind of want to try what was on offer at the ground so we'll see one thing I will say shorts they were a mistake uh, as you can probably tell from all of my clips in Dublin so far this is one of the most overcast places in the world um, <laughs> I jest but in all seriousness it's ridiculous and it's quite quite chilly luckily I've got another layer I can put on on top but unfortunately my poor legs just gonna have to be exposed to the elements throughout which is, you know, not ideal, but I'll survive. I mean, if that's not false advertising, I don't know what is. So here we are, there's the view. Lots of shelves, a uh, bed, some plugs. It looks like it's um, just student housing that no one's using. Some nice student housing, admittedly. They've got cupboards and all that. Toilet reviews as well. All travel guys seem to do automatic lights. A fancy shower with shower head options. Jesus, look at that. Even soap. Two soaps. Some towels. That's good because I didn't bring any because I was staying in nothing but hotels. So I hoped that would be the case. But yeah, not too bad. I'm going to quickly use the toilet facilities. 
uh, get all my stuff ready and then head to the game. See Baltic States, we have a ticket machine, people buy the ticket, simple as that, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, so it's so funky there, everything everything's in Gaelic, oh, you might have not had a single person speak Gaelic, yeah everything is written in Gaelic, and then with English translation underneath, it's pretty funky, I can't like it. So I've made my way down to the south of Dublin, to a park called Tala for tonight's game because I, when I was planning this journey I thought a lot of things there wouldn't be much that I couldn't do at home in England I can only do here but one thing that's definitely the case certainly at this time of year because it's July is watch a Champions League game and that was exactly the plan for tonight now I did plan this a little while ago watching the champion the record champions I think it's 19 titles and 25 cups or something ridiculous that the Shamrock Rovers have won in Ireland. They're facing Ludogorets tonight. It's the second leg. Uh, the first leg, I think it's fair to say, didn't go entirely to play. First, I've got some Bulgarians right in front of me. I didn't think there'd be many travelling supporters, but there's there's four straight ahead. Um, but yeah, I thought they'd try and keep it tight in the first leg and then go for it in the second. But it didn't quite entirely pan out that way. They um, they got done by the quality of the Cypriot international Sotoriu uh, on two occasions in the first half and then the second half. Pretty much the last, I think it was the last of the game, one of their many Brazilians scored the third. So they are 3-0 down going to the second leg. But they got home advantage tonight. Um, they were still advertising ticket sales in the, the stand that I'm in. The other two have already sold out. Um, so I imagine it's going to be pumping if people can bear to turn up, which you know might not be the case. And um, you know, then we'll um, we'll see what we'll see. But um, I guess if you believe in the luck of the Irish, then you might think that there's a chance that Shamrock Rovers can turn around the lead against Ludogorets. Who knows? Let's find out. Big lead as is, but 
you would expect better. So hopefully uh, the hoops can put them to the sword in the second half because uh, they've definitely been you know, well worth at least another goal. They've worked you know, even after I after the goal they created some decent chances. It could easily be more. So hopefully more of the same in the second half. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Ludogrets look like they've got the same away kit as Spurs this season and it looks absolutely awful. Just look at it. It's a monstrosity. Ludogrets anchor midfielder has been sent off for second yellow card. Ludogrets down to 10 men. After a slow start, this could surely line things up. Ludogrets down to 10 men. Instead, it's been given the other way and he's been quick for diving. He's absolutely living, so is everyone else, understandably. It looked like a foul to me. But yep, still, just the one thing. Time ticks on. It's entirely up to Shamrock Rovers now whether they're going to get these goals or not. Um, no attacking attempt whatsoever anymore from the Ludigrets. It's 15 minutes to go. Play against 10 men. It's all going their way. In fact, they haven't created too much. Real shame how it finished in the end. Um, no sooner had Shamrock Rovers had it within a goal, but then uh, Cowley went out the other end. I mean, he was in both legs, probably the best player on the pitch. I think it's fair to say. So, in the end, you know, I think the, the task that they left themselves from the first leg was all too. It was all too big, but it was a big shame because you know they gave everything. Shamrock Rovers to try and get back into the game, but they just couldn't quite do it. And that's the way. That's the way it goes sometimes. You know, whenever you lose a first leg three 0 you've always got a massive task on your hands to turn it around. They tried their best, but I think the uh, over the two legs, the quality of the Ludigrets really showed. Um, but it was a really fun, really fun atmosphere. It wasn't, I was about to say, it was 
even though it's a Champions League game, it was quite laid back. Then, of course, the uh, whole pad and the throwing and stuff at him thing happened at the end. I'm absolutely a big shame, but yeah, the, like the atmosphere was pumping where I was, everyone was you know, supporting and singing the songs as well, but not like nothing was too serious. And see, I would definitely go to a I think I've got to go to the League of Ireland game now to sort of see well like a regular matches like or even what like a Dublin derby is. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm going to be heading back to England tomorrow. Uh, I think there's one thing left to do before I hit the hay tonight. And uh, I'm sure you'll have an idea of what that might be. Had to be done, although I've had a bit of a mare. I've frothed it slightly. That's a given. Now I've got to confess at this juncture, I've had a Guinness twice in my life. One time I thought it was all right, and the other time I didn't like it at all. So, I'm going to give this one a go now. You can't know I'm going to wait till it black. It looks like it's coming black now. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, far better than in the English version. It's a. Uh, and it's what you're always told that I did, you know, it's, it's true. That was a lovely lovely. Now, as long as um, this bar's got Wi-Fi, I'm going to watch the England highlights. Because they <laughs> unbelievably beat Sweden 4-0. You know, I don't think I mentioned that when I was um, talking about the result. Obviously, um, being being what it was, I spoke to a lot of people on the, the um, tram back, and they all seemed to have the same opinion. But they just gave themselves too much to do in the first leg, unfortunately, despite playing really well tonight. Uh, like I only mentioned that England have done the same thing because you know, um, they knocked out the highest ranked, the second highest ranked team in the world, 4-0. Um, and all their Covid absentees came were back, so it's an unbelievable result. England won the final, oh my god, took it. It's crazy, it's really crazy. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this and hopefully a stress-free morning. So it's the morning after the game, I've woken up and uh, Dublin is still very much overcast, although it's giving me a weird glow, there it's better. Um, yeah, so basically the the overriding <clears throat> thing was that I really enjoyed it, I thought that um, you know, it really made me want to come back and sample the League of Ireland. The uh, the Rovers fans, until the end. Well, I think UEFA are probably going to clamp down on the uh, the throwing of litter at uh, Pat and whoever the um, centre-half was that threw the bottles back. So I expect an inquiry about that, and it could well be that Scoopy home game is played behind closed doors, which would be a massive shame. Um, I was speaking to a lot of fans on the way back. Uh, it was all the, the same feeling, really, that unfortunately they gave themselves too much to do. Uh, the, that last minute goal in the first leg to make it 3 0 killed the tie, is it? It felt at the time 3 0 was a step too far, but you know, they gave it their all. They tried the best. Unfortunately, they couldn't quite get it done. So, yeah, on. I'm heading back to England now. We've got um, uh, the second semi-final in the Euros. This one's going to be an interesting one to try and get around. Cause, uh, the trains are all on rail strike. So I'm not sure what the attendances and stuff are going to be like, how people are going to get there. I believe there's quite a lot of buses. I know that um, 
if you're on the mailing list like I am, I've been, or um, even just they have a ticket, they've um, been sending those out. So it'd be interesting to see what, what happens, but yeah, I mean, it's just, oh, I've, I'm finding it hard to get my head around the place that is Ireland. I mean, on one hand, you know, they drive on the left, they speak English, they're, they're all quite friendly. So from that perspective, I like it. But then, you know, they spend Euros. They've got the the EU petrol stations everywhere. It's a it's a weird blend of the two. It's it's quite hard to get your head around. Um lots of <clears throat> you know, the other quite homely thing is that there's a pub around every corner. So I'm sure if you were going around London or even smaller cities. It's very much the case as well. So yeah, I um from that perspective, if you're ever you're like you're craving for a Guinness, you probably gotta take about three steps from wherever you are and it should be in sight at the very least. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the airport now, so unless anything cool happens, this is the end of the vlog. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed.